When following any tutorial, check the lesson in the Visual Components Academy. And if the download files option appears, you can download the example files. Hello, hope you're doing great. Reza here. In this tutorial, we'll talk about component container. A component container is a hierarchical and logical store for the components. The containers are attached to the node that they are part of, which is called the parent node. Container is a type of behavior. So if I go to this first area, click on the feeder, check the template behaviors on the material flow, you can see the template behavior for component container. If I extend the tree of this feeder process, you can see the behavior also called component container. It has a few properties, the name of the container, the visibility under product property panel, the statistics behavior that collects the data from this component container because it shows the parts that came in and left. The capacity of this component container, how many parts it can take at a time. The capacity blocks, it defines a list of capacity controller behaviors for globally defining the container's capacity. That's in order to avoid deadlock situations. The transition signal, which defines a Boolean signal to start the arrival and departures of a component in the container. A true value signals the arrival and a false value signals the departure of a component. And the location where this container is attached to. So to which frame? Right now is interface frame. You could also attach it to some other frame if needed. If I press play, you can see that this blue text is updating based on the part count in that container. It shows a dynamic value. So now there is a part in feeder. It shows one and then it shows zero when part leaves and the same thing for the sync side. If I click on the text, click on this Kanban name, open the note, go to the second tab. From the Python API, you can write such little script here one line to show the current parts, get application, find the component process feeder, find the behavior, component container, and then give me the component count. And this can be done for every component that has a container. If I come to the second part, press play, you can see now the current parts in the middle for human resource is also updating to one. And when the part leaves from human resource, it updates to zero. The same thing goes here now for the mobile robot. Now the middle value is updated to one and then it goes to zero when part leaves from the mobile robot. Here in this view, we have a buffer area between feeder and sync. And you can see that the capacity of this container is more than one. Now there are five parts there, and every time the sync is ready to take one more part, the component count is updating to the current value of the buffer and is changing basically. Next we have the robot. If I press play, you can see that now robot, this middle value shows it's carrying a part and now it's carrying no part. So part goes from the component container of the feeder to component container of the robot and then to the sink. Let me click on the robot. Let's see where is the value, the component container for the robot. So if I scroll down, you can see that the robot has six axes. These are all nodes and it has the mount plate node and it has the grasp container there. So the mount plate node is the parent node of the container in the robot. And the last but not least, if I press play, you can see that parts are now coming on the conveyor. If I speed it up a little bit. Now there are three parts on the conveyor. And what is a conveyor? If I click on it, 
and extend the tree. You can see that parts are moving on conveyor, but there is no component container. Well, here there is a path. If I go under behaviors, and here we see on the material flow a one-way path and a two-way path. The path here is also a type of container with this difference that parts can move along its frames. So here the path has two frames, a start and end. So part can go from start till the end. There is a handshaking from the container of the feeder. Give it to the conveyor and then give it to the sink. If I activate the frames, we can see the start and end frame. So that is the start frame in the beginning. And at the end of it, there is the end frame on this template conveyor that I've copy pasted up here. Okay, that's what I wanted to review with you. Have a good one and bye for now.